Okay, hi guys, welcome back to the channel here on Jared Gunson TV. Uh, an interesting thing about the GT1000 that I've been wanting to try for a while is the stomp box mode. So what I'm going to do is test it out, show you how it works and all that. Um, but I am pretty much learning this with you. So what we're going to do is this gunston loop is a blank is a blank preset. Sounds like that. Uh, something you are going to do if you want to run in stereo is just make sure that your mix is set to stereo. I'm actually going to save that because I keep making a mistake in every flipping video. Okay, there we go, we're running. So that's what that sounds like. Now, I'm gonna include this patch as well for you guys to try it. It's my new Drive Sound 2019. <laughs> Obviously coming from this amplifier over here and uh, I've got an EQ unit as well if you're looking on the laptop you'll see it here and here but let's scroll across to stomp box which is here we're going to push stomp box you can see I just tested it out earlier so but you would save it to that spot over there that says amp and then you would name it uh, in my case, I am going to there to stone box Gunston Drive 2019 and then right to my amp. Now there's all my settings and whatnot, so here we go. Let's give this a little test. Something else you'll notice is over here now in uh, Tone Studio, there's this new yellow block. And if you click here, it says from Stomp 1, copy to patch, write to Stomp box, or select. So I'm assuming you can maybe save 10 stomps or 10 per effect. I'm not sure. I'll have to check that out. Okay, now I'm going to save that. So if I now move uh, one patch, let's move one patch back. Then the laptop load, you can see it's all neutral here. Let's go back. Is it a yellow block? Yes, there is our yellow block. So, let's try this now. Okay, so that's the solo from my metal and rock demonstration. So, if we wanted to now load the stomp box, uh, we are using this amplifier. Let's go to Stomp Box, amp number one. Looks about right, and the only reason it sounds different is because in my um, my cab settings, I'm using a four by the by ten, but normally I use an eight by twelve. And then obviously the EQ needs to get put into place. 
Okay, so now let's do it again. Uh, and this time I'm going to do it from scratch for you guys. Uh, so let's go effects. There's my amp match combo type. And we are going to save this to amp number two. And we're going to call this one cream soda. <laughs> Here's my empty patch. Let's go and load up. Either say to stomp or from stomp. The from stomp. Copy from stomp to. And then you pull in from there. So that's loading from the stomp. But what if I want to do just set it as the stomp? Let's have a look through here. There. Okay, so that, for the sake of this demo, I'm going to write it here to number three. So if we go in there, there's amp number two. Uh, let's change the amp to big. Now if we go back here, that's my recti. Let's go back. Big amp saved. So let's put that back to match. And we're going to save that to patch number four. And now let's go into patch four. Let's say we're playing, we do a few effects we like, but we're finding the gain isn't quite working, so we up that to, let's say, 80. Quit. I have not saved. Let's go back to three. Gain 80. That's really cool, man. I think if you go into the stomp box, no matter what you do, it becomes like a sort of live pedal. So we're going to knock this back down to 50. I've gone over to my next patch, gain 50. I'm sure you guys can figure out a way to use that for yourselves, man. Make two copies so you have a fail safe to go back to that you don't touch. Otherwise, just keep the settings saved via Bluetooth, which you can also see here on my channel. A couple of videos down, um, Bluetooth review and all that. But anyway, that is the stomp box. Um, I know I made a few mistakes and I know my way of explaining it. Some guys might have come here hoping for me to go, this is what you do. No, I'm showing you a real life situation where I didn't know how to use it and that's how I would apply using it going forward. Uh, for example, in a week, I've got a new show. Sorry, in a week, in about a month, I've got a new show I'm going to be doing. And I'm probably going to be linking this up to my um, GR55 with MIDI. And then I'm going to have all various, uh, the, the GR55 is going to control this. The patch changes. But there might be more than one sound where I use the same amp sound so I'll just try the stomp thing there pretty cool for the live guys who on the fly want to adjust things which I think is quite cool uh, noise gates are one that maybe we could use for stomps let's have a look quickly before I say cheers stomp box noise gate that's it yeah so maybe across the whole board you can set the threshold anyway that's that for now guys um, have a great weekend further, and I will see you soon. Let me know if there's anything you want to know. Thanks again for watching, and uh, feel free to share, subscribe, and like. From me here at Jared Gunson TV, I'll catch you later. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you to the guys from Boss for always giving me some awesome. See you next time. Bye.